Today we will be assembling a servo block. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver for this project. In this video we are using a Hitech HS5665MH digital super speed servo, though any standard size servo will work with this kit. First thing you notice from our servo when you get it out of the box is that it is equipped with a white circular servo horn. We're going to need to remove that before we can move on. It is attached with a Phillips head screw, so we'll grab our screwdriver and take that off. Once we get the screw removed, you will need to go ahead and put that in a safe place as we will be needing it here in a minute. However, the servo horn, you can do what you want with that. Next, we will take the standard servo plate A that comes in the kit. Do notice that it is symmetrical so orientation is not necessarily a factor when fastening it to the servo. Feed it through the wire and through to the back so that you can attach it with the screws that come in the kit. The screws that come in the kit are the 632 by 1 quarter inch pan head screws. I'm going to use four of them to fasten it to the servo. Once your servo is fastened to the plate, it'll look something similar to this. The next piece we will use from our kit is the one half inch servo shaft attachment. You're going to take the servo shaft and press it firmly onto the output shaft of your servo until it's nice and snug and then we'll use the screw that we saved from earlier to finish fastening that in place. Next we have two of our 90 degree quad hub mounts that we're going to use to attach to the base of our servo plate. You will notice that there are two ways in which you can orient the hubs when attaching them to the plate. The first of which being with the recess in the hub facing out away from the servo. The second way that you could attach it is with the hub and the plate flush on the outside. We are going to use our quarter inch pan head screws to attach the hub so that the plate and the hub are flush with each other towards the outside. While you attach this, do be sure to leave your screws somewhat loose so you have a little bit of play. Finally, grab the one half inch bore flat bearing mount. You'll notice, as with the quad hub mounts, that this also has two ways in which it can be oriented. The first of which being with the rim facing down towards the servo, and the second with the rim facing up away from the servo. You'll want to press this over the servo shaft with the rim facing up. Once you have that in place, use the remainder of your pan head screws to fasten the rest of the servo block together. With all your screws in place, go ahead and go back through and tighten everything up. Make sure it's nice and sturdy. And there you have it. That is the Servo City servo block. If you have any questions about this build or have any other builds that you would like to see, leave us a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. And as always, thanks for watching.